Hello, um, welcome to another one of my synth sunset walkthroughs. This one's uh, one with a little bit of a difference because this is a special exclusive sunset um, that I am doing in conjunction with a website called ADSR Sounds. Um, I've been selling my patches on there for, well, probably actually ever since I started doing this uh, commercial synth sound stuff um and adsr sounds is this really cool site which as well as selling various preset packs for for synths has a huge amount of tutorials um basic stuff like how to design uh, well how to use filters how to use oscillators blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, plus also some more specific stuff like how to recreate classic sounds or modern sounds from uh, a bunch of dance floor hits that uh, are very popular with people um god it sounded like a dad then and very popular with the younger generation so he is um so yeah so i um had a bit of a chat with steve who runs the site and wanted to do something a bit different so um I decided to collect together uh, sort of archived sounds that that I wasn't going to release on my own site because I do focus now on the cinematic stuff. Um, but I had had projects in the past where I'd needed to design sort of dubstepy, electro, uh, aggressive sort of dance floor sounds. And um, we thought it'd be fun to do a, a exclusive sound set that you can only get on ADSR sounds. So this is... This is uh, the sound set, massive transcience, um, or transience, depending on um, what kind of mood I'm in. Um, transience, I think, works better, but I've written the word science in the title as well, so who knows what's going through my brain there. Um, but I've been waffling for a couple of minutes now, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll just have a listen to the sounds. Um, well, a, a, a selection of them. I'm not going to go through all 128. Um, so we'll kick off with some leads. Um, and let's go for it. Uh, so the, the idea generally behind this the sort of collection what I've tried to collect together is is some aggressive sounds um so there's a lot of there's noise enough there's harshness um noise enough did I just say noise enough that's not a word um maybe I should just keep playing the sounds and shut my face oop I actually played that one Um, as ever with, with a massive sound set, um, I've programmed as much as I, I can and feels necessary into the macros, which is one of the, the, the really cool elements of, of massive. Um, uh, because very quickly, I mean, particularly if you use massive regular and you've, uh, uh, programmed some knobs or sliders on your your MIDI controller to to work the the macros then you you can do some clever stuff quickly on on the fly whereas a lot of synths you're you're essentially relying on just what goes into the mod wheel uh with this you've just got depth and flexibility straight away which i like to try and take advantage of in my sound sets if i can <laughs>
that's quite fun. Abrasive, I think, is the is the word for that one, really, isn't it? So yeah, some of them are quite. Um, it's it's been. I actually had. I'm going to get this sentence out if it kills me. These sounds I've basically collected from my my archives um, for projects um, that I'd worked on. So some of these sounds have been designed for very for very specific projects. Some are designed for projects that never actually came off. Um, I'm not actually privy to tell you um, some of the projects that this this did, some of these sounds did, and also, oh, um, clicked on the twice over. Oh, I have. What am I doing? Anyway. Um, yes, uh, so... Uh, I'm not trying to recreate any classic um, tracks with any of these sounds. I am just um, dicking about on the fly, as it were. Yeah, um, sounds have been designed for a couple of commercial projects uh, that did happen, some that didn't happen. Um, so, although I'm not, I, I can't really divulge where some of these sounds did end up. Um, if you like computer games, you may have heard some of them. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Um, so let's just go through a few of the, the pads. The pads is a section where things are a little bit less aggressive. Um, um, still quite bright, but um, not so in your face. Um, yeah, because I, I guess essentially, if you're doing if you know, lots of up, up front leads and bases, you don't want the pads to also be in your face. Otherwise, absolutely no dynamics to your track at all. Excuse me. Um, and then in the synth miscellaneous 
uh, column. We've got should mostly be sort of sequence stuff. So we got some nice sort of riffy stuff, but also um, one or two that that would work also as uh, percussive things like this. I think this is a slightly basic one. But also, you know, some of them, if you, if you need it, they can create a, a focus for your track. Uh, which can be quite fun. That's why it's in this section. It's a you can turn it into a sweep. I was thinking that's not that's not sounding very much like a like a um sequence, is it? Is try is there a do you know I'm not sure if there is a trance and dubstep crossover at the moment. I'm sure I'm sure someone must have done that. Maybe. And if they haven't, you'd better get on it, right? No. Oh, guitar. Oh, electric guitar sort of sound I'm thinking this one. I think it was odd if there's going to be a acoustic guitar in there that wouldn't really fit with it. Okay, so basses. Um, we've got some bass sounds and some bass lines. Um, because uh, what is an electro track without bass? I ask you. ugly some of these sounds <laughs> in a good way obviously I like the ones that are slightly out of control. <laughs> Thank you. 
wonder what the kill macro does. Okay, um, I think we've got any drums over here. Oh, we've got one drum. I wonder what this is. Um, that's not a drum. What's happened there? Okay, accidentally appear to have clicked on drums on that one. I'll fix that before it goes out. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's all pretend we didn't see that, shall we? Okay, there's, there's a handful of soundscapes on here, not very many. Um, Enough, hopefully, just to create some little bits of atmospheric stuff to play in the background. Have some sound effects. Cool. Did hope it would do. <laughs> Colossal. A grunty, roary kind of sound. Uh, track report. So there you have it. Um, that's that's a handful of the sounds that are available on Massive Transient. Um, like I say, it's it's aggressive stuff for the dance floor. I mean, you could you could use it for stuff like industrial. There's still uses for film score stuff in there. You know, that whole sort of dubstep elements are coming into trailer music in particular at the moment. Um, but essentially. It is a little special collection of noises I've uh, been collecting and wondering what to do with. And, and here is the wonderful opportunity. Uh, so yes, you can only buy this sound set. Let me repeat this. You can only buy this sound set from ASDR Sounds. You can't... A ASDR? Have I got that right? I can't even remember which way round. The bloody amp envelope. Because <laughs> ADSR Sounds. Um... And you can't buy it from my own site, but you can buy lots of other lovely stuff from my site. Oh, yes. Um, but this particular sound said, no, no, you can't. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for listening. And I shall see you in a future synth sound set walkthrough video. Ta-ta for now. Bye.